So for the second time now, the Iowa Supreme Court is being asked to lift an injunction that stopped enforcement of the law. And the legal challenge came from abortion providers, Planned Parenthood of the Heartland and the Emma Goldman Clinic. But in 2022, you probably recall the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, ending all federal protections on abortion, which left this issue up to each state to decide, which we're now seeing. That same year, Governor Reynolds asked the Iowa court to lift the injunction. A district judge declined, again, keeping the fetal heartbeat law from taking effect. In June of last year, the Iowa Supreme Court examined the case and returned a 3 to 3 deadlocked verdict. The legislature and courts would go back and forth for three more years over this. And that brings us to where we are today. Another Iowa Supreme Court hearing on lifting that injunction. All right, WHO 13 Zach Fisher was at the Supreme Court. You heard the arguments, the opening arguments today, and you now join us with reactions and what you heard in that hearing. Good evening. Good evening, Elias. And talking about that three to three split decision just last summer, uh, the Iowa Supreme Court upheld that 2019 injunction, as Aaron outlined there, a year after determining that women do not have a fundamental right to abortion in the state's constitution to today. All eyes on Justice Oxley, as she was the one who recused herself in that 3-3 split. Here she asks the state if the court should rule on the injunction or allow the district court that put that injunction in place to make the decision. Would agree with you on that point. Is that something that we can decide as applies to this particular statute or do we need to send it back and let the district court apply that standard since it has not had a chance to? Your Honor, this court could do either. I will note that every single state Supreme Court to apply the rational basis standard of review to a fetal heartbeat statute has found that it survived. So from the state's argument of rational basis review, it leads down two paths. The Supreme Court could lift the injunction or see if the district court would lift the injunction based off of that test. Planned Parenthood of Iowa wants a higher standard to be used, but the council will face difficulty as part of Planned Parenthood's argument is that abortion is a fundamental right, but the state's highest court has ruled differently. First, I would disagree that there is no fundamental right. There is no fundamental right ne necessitating a strict scrutiny standard of review, but autonomy and dominion over one's own body, that runs through the Iowa Constitution. That is fundamental. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Governor Reynolds releasing a statement after the arguments today, lasting around an hour, where she uh, said that uh, the unborn had their day in court, reiterating that she, as a pro-life governor, will do everything she can to protect the unborn. Now, she wasn't there in person, however, but Iowa Attorney General Brenna Byrd was. Now we're just playing the waiting game now, Elias. Yeah, and uh, we know from the very beginning they knew this would be a long, long fight and a long end game as well. And now we wait for that decision after today. Zach Fisher, thank you for that report tonight.